Just about every town has a water tower, but this town has two. And what's painted on the water towers has plenty of people stopping and taking a picture. Locals here say the first water tower was built back in the 1920s when the city got its first water system. In the 1950s, though, the town was struggling to find enough water for its citizens. Some wells were dug, and the town of Canton purchased a new-to-their-city water tower in the 1950s to handle the newfound water. Two water towers within about 100 yards of one another. And soon, some believe in 1956, citizen Claudine Fisher had the idea to paint the words hot and cold in red and blue on the two towers. It quickly became a quirky yet often photographed place. So do they really store hot water in one and cold in the other? You can come here and get the answer, but the two towers do make the town stand out in central Kansas, and they do accomplish the most important job, providing plenty of water for the town. Traveling the countryside in Canton, Kansas, I'm Andrew McRae.